properties in Scotland used for short-term lets will need to be licensed by local councils by 2024 under a new proposed Scottish Government law. Ministers want to address Airbnb-style rentals in popular tourist areas such as the Highlands. But the announcement has come at the frustration of tourism associations. Well, with more, Brandon Cook joins me in the studio now. What exactly, Brandon, is planned for those running short-term lets? Well, short-term lets, they've become very popular over the past few years, haven't they? And it's driven by sites like Airbnb and Booking.com. But there are concerns in areas, particularly those of high tourism, like the Highlands and the Islands, uh, where high numbers of lets can cause problems for neighbours like noise and antisocial behaviour and make it harder for locals to get a foot on the property ladder. Now, the Scottish Government say this idea will help balance the worries some communities may have with the wider economic and tourism interests. If approved, all councils will have to create their own licensing scheme by October next year. Those operating property lets will have uh, until April 2023 to apply for those licences and then have their licence by July 2024. It must be in their possession by then and then they'll need to renew it every 36 months. And how have tourism bodies taken to the news? Well, to be frank, some aren't happy, Norman. Today, the Scottish Association of Self-Caterers have labelled it a sham and said it's anti-business. It's, it's hugely disappointing. It's hugely disappointing that after five and a half years of discussion with the Scottish Government, they have unilaterally ignored all of the evidence and data that we've given them. We still are completely at a loss as to why they're introducing this. When they, we know what a hugely damaging impact it's going to have on the Scottish economy and the Scottish tourism industry. Yes, it's interesting. Fiona, they are speaking to us from the foyer of the 2021 Scottish Tourism Conference. I'm told bodies and uh, indeed tourism experts within there have been venting their own frustration at the news today. Well, the next steps from a government point of view, though, is to finalise proposals next year before MSPs vote on the legislation. Brandon, thank you.